In the early months of the pandemic, Albert Borla's team needed two miracles. First, a vaccine that actually worked using unproven technology, but they also needed it now. When I first heard the news, I thought I misheard. What is the efficacy? And then they told me 95.6. And I, I sat down and I took a glass of wine. This is when the emotions really came, came, came out. And I had tears in my eyes. So when you say you push the team, what did you ask of them? But what about those who say that's not enough blood to do all the tests that need to be done, especially if someone's very sick and you're trying to figure out what it is? Every time you create something new, there should be questions. And to me, that's a sign that you've actually done something that uh, is transformative. I ask them to make the impossible possible, basically. And when we do a development of vaccine, it usually takes 10 years. So I asked him instead of eight years to do it in eight months. Eight months. In a stunning reversal of fortune, Elizabeth Holmes, once a Silicon Valley superstar, was sentenced to more than 11 years in prison on Friday. Holmes carried out a massive scheme to deceive the investors who put up nearly a billion dollars in her biotech company, Theranos. Along with that, there were concerns, well, they must have cut corners. This can't be safe. Yes, and that was always the guiding principle. We will never cut corners. Hey there. Is this seat taken? You guys would have been happy it was 50 to 70 percent effective, and it was 95.6 percent. Mm. 95.6. All right, I'm a Pfizer girl. Just saying, I'm not just saying that because you're here. Brought to you by Pfizer. Have you taken the vaccine, sir? No, I haven't taken it yet. They were developed so quickly. What do you tell uh, those folks who might be saying, "Well, oh, I'm going to wait a few months before I get this one"? The decision not to vaccinate will not affect only your health or your life. Unfortunately, it will affect the lives of others and likely the lives of the people you love the most. I also want to thank Albert Bohr, Pfizer CEO and Chairman, for joining me today. We've gotten to know each other over the last few months. He's really stepped up at this critical stage. You have not yet had uh, your shot. When do you plan to get it? Sooner. Uh, I can, I will. I want to thank Pfizer and its CEO, and, uh, Albert. Albert's been a good friend and he's been helpful. Today's announcement with the U.S. government gets us closer to our goal. You said it was 100% effective, then 90%, then 70%. 95.6%. Mm. Why did you keep that secret? Have a nice day. Mr. President, I want to thank you for your leadership and partnership. Are you not ashamed of what you've done in the last couple of years? Do you have any apologies to the public, sir? Of course, all of this work to increase supply and distribution will mean nothing if people are not willing to show up and roll up their sleeves to be vaccinated. The collaboration we are establishing with the vaccine partnership will grow even deeper over the next four years. This is, uh, this is a case of life and death.